So there's one thing that every woman cares about. And then there's two split things that different women will care about. So the number one thing every woman cares about, and I hope you can tell me if I'm right or wrong mm-hmm. on this, is safety. 100%. The number one thing women care about is safety. And safety comes from stability. It comes from resources. It comes from the other person being a, a human being worthy of trust. It comes from a variety of places. Now, if we negate, for example, with some women, the ability to trust men, if we say it is impossible for you to ever trust a man, right? I saw a great story on social media just this morning about a woman said, I, I married my husband. We are so happy together. And I just went and I got a great new job and I'm so happy with my new job. And we went to see my 85 year old grandmother. And while we were there, I told her I got a job. It's my dream job. And my husband's working. We're so happy. And grandma took me aside and said, start putting money into a secret account for yourself in case he turns against you someday. Mm. 85. Mm. And the woman was like, my grandmother. Oh, yes, girl. She's so fierce. It was such great advice thinking this is horrible Mm. like this woman's whispering in your ear telling you to actively plan for your partner to turn against you and you're like yes that is normal Mm. women don't feel safe the vast majority of women do not feel safe with men because they've been raised by multiple generations of women who either weren't safe with men Mm. because men failed them utterly failed them or something else catastrophic happened where they felt like all men were garbage all men were were evil right Mm -hmm. safety number one Women who say, all right, six foot tall, six figures, a lot of that comes down to either safety, right? I want the money. Give me the money. Start putting money in an account. Or they feel safe on their own, so then they split off. There's two other areas where women look for. One group, more healthy women who have more healthy understandings. They're more secure. They're more more bonded. They had love growing up. They look for connection then, right? Safety's established. Now I want to connect with a man. And most men today cannot connect, so they can't satisfy these healthy women. The other group of women is unhealthy women, right, who didn't get love growing up, and they don't have much safety, so they get safety, and then they say, well, connection is unsafe, it's making me vulnerable, but I want to be stimulated. So safety and then stimulation. Be six foot tall. Be this. Do me. Do this. Be hot. Be and that's and, and they just go in that direction for stimulation. And the only thing you're going to get is manipulative guys who know how to stimulate you. So again, women are unsatisfied. I think those women are the ones who create unrealistic standards and are w- their expectations are way blown out because it's endless stimulation. And now you're, you're, you're demanding every single man on earth compete for constant dopamine binges for you, like compete mm-hmm. with Netflix, compete with your Starbucks coffee loaded with sugar. To make, he has to make you feel better than Starbucks, better than Netflix, better than your, your toy that you keep in your dresser drawer, better than everything else in your life he has to compete against because you're not capable of connection over here. But I think that those guys are finding those women, like a lot of guys are, are dating those women and those are the guys in my comments mm. that will say, no, all they care about is money. Yeah. All they care about is this. All they care about is that. Like they yeah. don't see the other. There's these two, right? You like these two types of women, and they don't see that these other women want the connection, or they mm. don't know how to connect. That's it. So they get so frustrated, and they they give up, and they say it's it's worthless. I'm yeah. not I'm not interested in women. I can't do yep. this. They also feel that they have to put in all the work yeah. that they become. Well, what do you bring to the table? What do you need to know about men? It's so true. I, and I feel for Gen Z guys, because the game seems to be become a paycheck and also be an endless source of emotional fun and support for her and get nothing, not even sex in return, no cooking, no cleaning, no comfort, no femininity, nothing, get nothing in return for the privilege of having a woman who lives in your house. And that's what a lot of Gen Z guys are like. No, I'll play Xbox. Smoking weed and Xbox sounds more fun than that, because at least I'm not a slave. Yeah. And that's where a lot of guys are at right now. So the goal, I guess, is to teach and to talk to men about emotionally understanding how to emotionally connect. Um, I remember I remember I worked for a big, big, big company in the Northeast, and there were many women that were very successful, Mm -hmm. making six figures, doing very well for themselves, went to Ivy League colleges. Mm -hmm. Uh, One in particular, very good friend of mine, and she was the breadwinner, just kept rising through the ranks. 
And she was very, very happily married mm. to, a school, to a man who was a school teacher. Mm. And she said the one thing, Sarah, that, that it, never, it never got in the way mm. because he, he didn't let it get in the way. Mm. He would still come home, mm -hmm. still command respect. Mm -hmm. He was incredibly passionate about his career. Mm. Um, he was educated. Mm -hmm. He was thoughtful. He was communicative. Mm -hmm. I mean, she just said it, it, well, it's not even, it doesn't even come up in our conversations because he brings so many attributes to the relationship. There we go. And I think that's what men are missing is the fact that you are, it's almost a limiting belief on your side mm -hmm. that is holding you back. And you're thinking that you are not good enough. You're not providing enough for mm -hmm. her. And they over, they overweight mm -hmm. the financial, right? If you're looking at a pie graph, it's, it's men think 90% of their worth is coming from their career and from the, how much monetarily they mm -hmm. are providing, mm -hmm. but, but connecting and a woman from a woman's perspective, that resentment that she feels after five, eight, 10 years of you all not providing, but then also not providing the emotional support mm -hmm. that starts to, that starts to pile on when she comes home from a really difficult day mm -hmm. and the laundry still hasn't been done mm -hmm. when she comes home from a really difficult meeting and you're sitting there waiting to be fed mm -hmm. when she comes home, you know, when there's consistent mm -hmm. situations and actions that you're taking when she is going to work and being also a man in the relationship, but you are still expecting her to fulfill mm -hmm. certain gender roles because that's how you may have saw when you were growing up or seen. So I think that it, we are in a different time. And after 10, 15, even five years of that happening, yes, a woman will build a very deep resentment. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you have seen that with couples. <laughs> oh, all the time. So I think what you're talking about, I think, is masculinity, right? Men need to be masculine because if they're not, that woman won't have safety. She has to create her own, right? A, a female executive, she's not necessarily creating her own safety with all that money. That money can help. That's one kind of safety. But what about all the other types of safety she has? Emotional safety, right? Mm -hmm. Her life safety, her safety in the home, and she hears a, a noise in the middle of the night. There's so many other pieces of safety that masculinity is supposed to provide. Let's define masculinity here because people always get on my case about this. Masculinity is the absolute embracing of responsibility for the safety of those around you. That is masculinity, right? Femininity, it's not that they don't, it's not that you don't keep somebody safe, but it's the nurturing of the people around you. That's feminine energy. Mm -hmm. Masculinity is the safety, the responsibility for safety. So a male school teacher, right? She was going out in the world and hunting. She was a huntress, right? It's awesome. Great. You know, cool. And there's been times in my marriage where my wife has made more money than I did. Not now, but there's been times where she did. The difference was the different kinds of safety I brought to the marriage during that time. She didn't walk in as the man. I was the man. I stayed that way. It sounds like that school teacher. He was yeah. probably very masculine. Mm -hmm. That's what men are missing. Mm -hmm.